Well, I finally have got a block of time today to just sit down and uh, paint the helmet stripes on these 42 custom uh, Pittsburgh Steelers that I've been working on for what seems like 50 years, but it's only just been a couple months. Uh, it's the couple, um, some of the longest couple of months of, of our lives. You know, hopefully if we can make it what, three more days now, we'll be all right. I hope. But let's zoom in on these. Um, I'm not going to pick any of these up, I don't think. Um, I feel like these are the best helmet stripes I've done. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, I'm, I'm pleased to say that. Um, I'll walk you through the technique. We've talked about this before in the past. Um, before we start, though, um, I want to share with you a, a, an item I received as a Christmas gift. It's a pair of reading glasses, nice strong magnification on them, uh, with a neat little gimmick. And uh, let me just find the button here. Yeah, LED lights built into them. Now, this is nothing new. These have been around forever, but it's the first pair I've ever had. And these have proven to be quite uh, beneficial for customizing these figures. Nice strong LED lights, really, you know, coupled with this little light over here for me. Uh, it's just a, a cold halogen light. Um, no clue on the wattage. It really helped me see the details and helped me uh, see uh, spots on the figures where I'm missing paint and um, really helped me uh, clean up the lines on these. Now, I do observe that I've done a better job on these stripes than I, I really feel like I did on the uh, proof of concept figure. And uh, so that's, you know, that's wonderful. So how did I do this? Well, uh, we've talked about this before. I start with just a, a toothpick, and in this case, since the helmet stripe is yellow, I got in, you know, put out some yellow paint and just dipped the toothpick in it, and just, you know, one continuous stroke as best as I could do. Uh, if, if not enough paint, just dip it in again, flip the figure around, come at it from the other angle, or, or continue down. And um, I'm not ashamed to say that uh, on the first pass, they looked terrible. They looked very similar to the helmet stripes we would have seen on figures when we were uh, uh, youths. Uh, you know, those mass-produced, very quickly, hastily uh, painted um, stripes that, you know, from far enough away they look fine, but when compared with the helmet stripes on uh, modern Tudor figures um, with the nice glossy uh, paint jobs, it, it's, it's night and day. So uh, that that's the first step in putting on these helmet stripes if you're going to paint them on rather than use decals. Um, you're just getting some paint on the figure and it is nice to get a nice solid coat uh, and as you can see not all of them achieve that for a specific reason and we'll talk about that in a minute but the next step is to simply get into the uh, helmet color for my, in, in my case here for the Steelers it's black paint with a toothpick and just, you know, use that to push paint along there to clean up the lines, you know. Thin the lines down as, as much as you want them. And, uh, you know, to get them as straight as you need to. Like I said, I really don't want to pick these up. Um, but we can flip this around so you can see them from the rear. And, uh, you know, all in all, pretty good. Uh, much better than the Bears team, which was much better than the uh, away team Steelers team, which was much better than the uh, home team Steelers team. If I put all the figures out side by side, you could see a linear progression in, in the, uh, the skill. But what about that strange bend in the helmet stripes on a lot of these figures? Well, folks, that is the uh, mold seam going across the top of the head. Uh, you know, where the two halves of the mold meet in the, uh, when the plastic is poured into it. A true artisan would probably uh, sand the figure down a little on the top of the head to, to mitigate that a little bit. But on a lot of these figures, you can, um, let's see, maybe not these. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the lineman. And I think on the, um, yeah, you can just see it pretty much on all of these. Um, just the line going across the top of the head there. That's 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 hard to mitigate. You can't see it from even this far back. It's just really hard to get a nice smooth line across that ridge. The same as with um, uh, the the shoulders um, because of the the mold seam that goes down the shoulders. That makes painting uh, somewhat difficult on these. 
But um, again, I picked a pretty easy team uh, helmet to paint stripes on. Um, if you get a team like, um, let's see, maybe Green Bay, that actually has a green stripe with white trim, and you're going to paint these rather than uh, use decals, uh, here's what I would do. I would uh, actually just paint a white stripe, maybe a little thicker than the normal, and I clean it up with the yellow paint uh, in the same manner that I did with these, but then just take a green uh, ultra-fine Sharpie marker and just draw the line between the white to give you the green stripe. And uh, you probably will need to experiment with some different Sharpie markers to get the proper shade of green for Green Bay, which is probably not the same shade of green as the Eagles or the Jets, but don't hold me to that. So zooming in on these from the back, uh, that really pops there with that white uh, collar slash um, helmet plate there near the, the base of it. Um, I'm glad I did that now. That made uh, that made actually painting these figures a, a lot easier. But, uh, you know, once again, I feel like these are much cleaner and uh, finer lines for these helmet stripes than, uh, well, even on this one, as you can see. That one's actually pretty crooked now that we go back and look at it, but most of these are, are really nice. They were much thicker when I applied the first coat of yellow on it, but then using the black paint and a toothpick, I just thinned it down, and and, and uh, you can't be timid. Um, just commit to the stroke, as I like to say. The worst thing can happen is that you'll have to paint again. You'll have to try another coat and, and do it over. But now that these helmet stripes are done, uh, we'll move on to the leg stripes. Maybe tomorrow, but of course the leg stripes are going to take twice as long as these helmet stripes did because there will be 84 legs to stripe. Let's look at these down from the... Oh, that really pops with that Riddell base pl or plate on all the helmets. That's going to look good once we apply the face masks. Yeah, this is, I think these are going to turn out quite nice, folks. And uh, I don't mind that it's... Well, that's what it's going to look like, you know. I don't mind this taking longer than some of the other um of course you know the, the bears took three months if if you've been subbed to this channel you'll you'll know that and uh we're pushing three months now but we're, we're close to the end game once we get the leg stripes on all that's left will be uh the uh, helmet logo which i'm really good at for the steelers and a little logo on all the jerseys in a man you know sort of out of the way to keep it out of the way of the um uh jersey decal and then just whatever i'm going to do on the on the hands and arms and i'm going to paint some towels on some of these which as we see actually looks pretty good and uh, i'm still not real sure how i'm going to do it on the quarterback figure and i don't know which one of these is specifically uh, the, the quarterback it could be this one you know you the towel would normally be between his legs but i, I don't know how realistic i can make it look um probably just run that by the community online and on this channel to see if it looks dumb once I paint it um, but there we go folks um, that's helmet, uh, helmet stripes and um, you know well painting helmet stripes rather than applying a decal as you can see it is possible to get pretty good results with paint um, you could get a finer line certainly with decals um, but they are pretty fiddly they're very small and it's uh, kind of challenging to put them on in a straight line. It's certainly not impossible, and it, it, they're, they're no more difficult than shoulder uh, pad numbers to put on. Meanwhile, uh, the Christmas present I bought myself has arrived. Just a little sneak peek. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you for now. And uh, we'll uh, sit down at the field and take off one of the goalposts and, and do some passing tomorrow. For now, I'm going to put these back over on the desk and uh, watch the uh, Bills play uh, the Ravens. I don't know who's going to win this game. Uh, everyone, you know, the, the Bills are the are the underdogs, I guess, or at least the um, the team a lot of people are rooting for since this is their first time in the playoffs in many years. But they both have good teams, so we'll just have to see. But you know what? I do have to say I'm very impressed with Aaron Rodgers right now. 
I mean, he, I wouldn't go as far as to say he, he played phenomenally today, but he sure made the passes when he needed to. Okay, let's just take one more sweep over these. If I see anything on playback, I want to correct. Uh, there are some spots where the, the yellow paint is a little weak, but, you know, even from back here, it's, it's very hard to tell. Uh, my goal with these figures, obviously, and I keep saying this, is as long as they look better than uh, the figures we played with when we were youths, I'm, 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 a, I'm a happy camper. And these certainly do. These are approaching uh, uh, some of the professional paint jobs, and I'm very pleased with that. But not perfect and still a long way to go before we can make that claim. And I'm, I'm very, you know, always humble and, and uh, hyper aware of the limitations. Well, thank you so much for watching this, folks. I hope everyone has a great night.